Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha, as always, and I welcome you to my channel. I hope that you guys are enjoying my content, that you guys are learning from it, that you're growing from it, that you're becoming the best version of yourself as much as possible. That is my ardent desire with these videos and the content that I put out. In this particular video, in this particular idea, I wanted to talk about sexuality and what it really means to me um, living on this planet right now, being the person that I am. Now, when I was younger, when I was not even just you know younger, I was in my teens or in my 20s, there was a lot of confusion in my heart and my mind about what my sexuality or what my sexual orientation was. Not because I didn't like men or I like women, but I just did not understand how or why I would restrict myself to one gender particularly. There were so many different interesting people out there. There were women that were doing amazing things. There were men that were doing amazing things. There were other people that were doing or different kinds of gendered people. They were doing different amazing things and all of these people interested me in a particular way. But because I had lived in a very conservative society, I'm from India, which is still pretty conservative, and I lived in the Middle East for the long longest time in my youth, and oh man, are they conservative. And, uh, and then I moved to Toronto, which was not as conservative, but at that point, there was still very little um, talk about sexuality in such an open manner. That was, this was like 15, 20, 18 years ago, in 2000. And so at that point, I decided, all right, fine, I will just go along with the crowd, I'll just go along with what everyone else is saying, and I'll just be heterosexual just because that's the way it is. You know, I just wanted to kind of meld in. I didn't want to rock the boat. I did not feel like I was strong enough then to make a judgment about my sexuality and actually be openly honest about it with the people around me. And so that was me in my teens, in my 20s, my early 20s. Even until I think I was 28, I really did not rock the boat. I just kind of went along with my heterosexual orientation. I was like, all right, cool, I'm heterosexual. That's what I'm gonna go with, I like men. I don't like women, I, I like women, but not uh, in a sexual way, things like that, right? And it was simple, it's easy, but also it was also very confusing. It was very confusing because I would meet women sometimes, um, you know, I'm going clubbing, I'd see women, they were beautiful, I'd see women on the street, they were beautiful, or I'd see different people, you know, people who were dressed as women, but more, were men, and I'd see all these different people, and i think to myself, why am I just restricting myself to one sexuality why am I just saying that I'm only interested in men it didn't make any sense to me because it if I am demo, demisexual which is what I am I'm de definitely demisexual and if you guys know what that means you're not attracted necessarily to the physical characteristics of the person you're not attracted to the fact that they have a six-pack or the fact that they're beautiful or the fact that they're handsome or they're really really toned or fit or anything like that they're not you're not actually attracted to the physical characteristics but you're attracted to the fact that the person is intelligent or smart or street smart or book smart or they have some kind of unique characteristic in them that really fascinates you and interests you and you really just want to learn more about that person in that regard. Right? So it's a demisexuality and for me I am demisexual and I feel like a lot of INFJs are demisexuals as well. I think a lot of people in general are moving towards a demisexuality rather than sexuality itself. Now what does that mean? To me, if I am a demisexual, and this is what I kind of perceive it as, when I am a demisexual, I'm not actually interested in the person's gender either, because that is, again, just a physical characteristic. It truly is. It's just the fact that you have either a female body part on you or a male body part. What does that have to do with anything? Now, of course, there are people who are interested in boobs or they're interested in, you know, bums or they're interested in certain like, things like that. But for me, as I look at the individual, I'm not actually looking at their physical body. I mean, it's nice if they have a nice physical body. It's nice to have a beautiful toned body to touch rather than uh, a, a pudgy one, I guess. But it doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter because if you're not really looking at the physical characteristics of the person, which you're not if you're a demisexual, you're looking at the person as a whole, as an essence, their soul, basically, their spirit. And if you guys know anything about reincarnation or what we think we know about it, souls and spirits can be reincarnated in different forms and different shapes all throughout their different lifetimes. So sometimes you might come back as a male, but you're the same soul, the same spirit. Sometimes you come out as a female. Sometimes you come out as 
a crossdresser, you come, sometimes you come out as a transgender person. It doesn't really matter, right? Because you're a soul, you're a spirit, and that soul and spirit has nothing to do with the physical characteristics of your body. It has nothing to do with that. So the same soul, the same spirit will come out in the physical world as different formats, <laughs> I guess, different versions, right? Like 1.0, 2.0. And so the person itself that you're looking at as an INFJ, as an individual, you're looking at the person, you're looking at their soul. When you're falling in love with someone, I think you're falling in love with their essence. You're falling in love with their spirit, their soul, their beauty inside, rather than their physical characteristics. Yes, it helps a little bit if you are hot or if you're handsome or if you're pretty. Uh, I think obviously it'll add on to it. But a lot of people that I fall in love with, they're not typically um, beautiful they're not typically handsome they're not just those kind of people that you know they walk around and everyone's eyes follow them they're not those kind of typically um, physically beautiful people right but they're so beautiful on the inside and I look at them and I instantly fall in love with them on the inside you know I fall in love with their soul and their spirit looking at this and I've been thinking about this a lot as you guys can tell I think about my sexuality a lot because I find that Sexuality is such a fluid thing. I don't think it's a permanent fixture in your life. I really don't think that if you're born heterosexual or you're born in a certain so sexual orientation that you will be that sexual orientation for the rest of your life. I, I don't think that. Of course, this is just my theories. These are all my assumptions and all of my learnings based on things I've read, based on things I've experienced. So it's just my experience. I just don't think that sexuality stays constant throughout your life. You kind of change and permeate and, and transmute it as you get older, as you get wiser, as your body changes, as your mind changes, as you learn more things, as you meet more people. All of these things, all these experiences are changing you from the inside out. And so how can I believe that my sexuality is going to stay constant all throughout my life? It, it seems like such a tiny box to place yourself into. I feel so suffocated just thinking about it. I have to be heterosexual for the rest of my life. It seems like such a tiny box to live in and I cannot, I can't do it. I refuse to do it. Even if it means that everyone on the planet, you know, ostracizes me and my parents don't talk to me or my family doesn't want me to talk to them anymore. It doesn't matter to me because I cannot suffocate myself by living in such a tiny box. I can't imagine just being interested in one gender for the rest of my life. Well, it's just such a restriction. It feels so stifling. I just can't imagine that. If you guys know anything about personality types, you guys know that we also transmute and change our personality types, right? You might be born INFJ and you might turn into an ISTJ or you might turn into an ENTP, or people change their personality types all the time. So as time goes on, as you learn more about yourself, as you grow as an individual, as you become more authentic within yourself, as you peel away all the layers that are masking you, you learn more about yourself and you become more of that personality type that you're, I guess, you're authentically. And maybe you're hiding yourself for your entire life and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I'm not going to hide anymore. And you realize that you're an INFJ or you realize you're an ENTP or whatever it might be. Just like that, just like personality types are not stable or constant throughout your life, I feel like exactly the same thing about sexuality. I can't imagine that the way I'm thinking about sexuality right now at the age of 35 is the same I'm, what I'm going to think about it at 40 or even 45 or, or 60. I mean, it's always going to be changing, permeating, transmuting, fluidly moving, like water. It is always constantly going to be changing. And that's why I love talking about the subject so much, is because I don't think that there is one box that you can place yourself into. There have been so many people that I've been interested in, you know, just interested in, I've never actually, I haven't been in relationships with them, doesn't mean that I have to be in a relationship with every single person that interests me. But I'll meet people at festivals, or I'll meet people on Instagram, or I'll, I'll see people on the street and I'll think to myself, wow, this person is really fascinating from the energy that they're exuding and the way they carry themselves and the way they're moving through the world. Physically, perhaps they might not be really beautiful, but for some reason their soul or their spirit or energy catches my attention and I think to myself, they're beautiful. You know, I've walked through airports in Thailand and I've seen a beautiful, beautiful Thai girl. And I think to myself, um, She's tiny. I, I saw this one girl in the airport. She's a security check girl. And she was so, so small. She was tiny, tiny, tiny. But she was so, her presence was so awesome that I was like, wow, she is gorgeous. And I was so, so interested in her. 
Now again, it doesn't mean that just because I'm interested in the person that you know I'm going to go after them. It's just the fact that I'm noticing their soul, I'm noticing their spirit, I'm looking at their beauty, and I'm appreciating it. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm so lucky that I get to live in a world where I can appreciate all of these different people in such a manner. It doesn't always have to lead to sex, right? It's not always just about the sexual relationship. It's also just about the fact that you are interested in the person as in their soul and their spirit, and just appreciating them, thinking to yourself, Thank you for putting this person onto this planet so I can appreciate them in the way that I'm doing it right now. I also follow a bunch of transgender people on Instagram and they're just so beautiful. But again, their lifestyle and their the way they're living their life, the way they're doing things, it really interests me because some of them actually did a sexual sex change operation. They were men and they turned to women, but they're still dating women and they were or they were women and they turned to ma- men and they're still dating men. And so I just really find it interesting. Why didn't you just stay a man and date a woman? But that's not it. They felt like they wanted to be a woman. You know, they felt like they wanted to be a man. And that's why really the, the sexuality thing really cra- makes me crazy because or makes me think because there are no dimension there is no dimensions to it. there you can't put it into a box there's so many different ways that sexuality can present itself in the society there's so many different ways of living your life and 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 presenting your sexuality to this world so why would I constrict myself and restrict myself by putting myself into this one heterosexual box and that's it I'm just interested in men why because they have a penis that's it that's it that's the only reason they have to have a penis nothing else I mean come on come on right so is that the only reason I would be interested in someone because of their physical characteristics because of the fact that they have a physical uh, male body part or a physical female body part why would that really matter if you really love the person or they loved the essence you know, they could have been born female and now they're a man does that mean that you're not interested in them anymore or they could have been born female and now they're are they're like they were born male and now they're female so that does that mean that I'm, I can't be interested in and I cannot be interested in them it doesn't make any sense to me as you guys can tell there's so many different ways of looking at sexuality and the older I get, the more I realize that I am not just a heterosexual being. I'm not just heterosexual. And I'm fine with that. And I, I like the fact that I can have this forum to just say it out openly. I, I, I just don't think that it is the box that I want to place myself into. And I don't, I'm doing it not only because I want to be open with it, but also to give other people permission to be open with their own sexuality. If you are not interested in just staying in one box, then go for it. We live in the world right now, hopefully you live in a country where you can be open about this stuff and people are not going to stone you, stone you to death, hopefully. Or at least you can be open about it online and share in, uh, in, a, in, a, in, in this kind of forum. Um, so I hope this makes sense. I am not doing this in order to denigrate anyone or say that you know if you are only in heterosexual, then you're terrible. No, whatever you are, whatever your preference is, that is all right. And that's what sexuality is all about. It's about expressing your authentic sexuality. It's about expressing your authentic self. Sexuality is such an important part of being a human being on this planet right now. You know, you can't just keep it in a box. You can't just repress it. You can't just be like, I'm just going to do this because everyone else is doing it. No, it's about being your authentic self. And if your authentic self says that you are a heterosexual or a homosexual or whatever it might be, then hopefully I'll, I hope that you go for it. You know, just go for it. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Again, thank you so much for watching, for, for being on this channel with me. I hope I was able to explain myself to you guys. I know a bunch of people have asked me about this because they always wonder, they're like, oh, so are you bisexual? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't, again, I don't like putting a label on it because again, it's just a box, you know? Does that mean that if I'm bisexual, I can't go after transgender people? I don't know, really, I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not an expert in this kind of situation. I just don't want to say that I am one sexual orientation. I'm just open about it. I just, if someone interests me, if someone's soul or spirit interests me, I'm interested in them. It doesn't mean what they, it doesn't matter to me what their body parts look like, what they, what they were, what they are, what they're going to be, if they're changing their sex, if they're not changing their, it does not matter to me. I'm interested in the soul and the spirit of the person rather than who they are physically, all right? Again, if you guys have any questions, maybe you do, maybe you don't, let me know in the comments below or you can contact me by email. My email address is in the description below and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.